This is about a woman who wreaks revenge on her family's death and she turns her life around, but she also weighs up the price of her soul in doing so. I play a guy called Ian Boyd, or Boyd as he's, he's really just referred to, and he is uh, military trained. Uh, you get a sense early on that he's perhaps uh, been involved with or is involved with MI6. Um, he is discovered in the uh, outreaches of Scotland. He's, he's in the middle of nowhere um, and is found by Stephanie uh, almost by accident. Um, and you learn a little bit about his, uh, his own background, but in, in essence, he becomes the um, trainer and the uh, consultant, if you like, of, um, of Stephanie Patrick. He's also re recruits her, really. He recruits her and, and sets her on her mission uh, and guides her throughout it. It's a mental journey for Stephanie and it's a physical journey. He has to, Boyd has to uh, clean her up. He also has to physically put her into a situation where she can handle herself. He also has to test her under pressure. And psychologically, he has to make sure that she's not gonna crack and that she's motivated and um, uh, committed to the cause that she keeps um, claiming to, to um, be uh, obsessed by. You know, the fact that the female lead is in such desperate situation at the beginning and to see her slowly but therefore realistically pull herself together and put herself into this situation, very, very different situation is uh, quite unique, I think. And there's no, they don't take any shortcuts. There's no sort of glamorous um, um, transformation. Or, well, there is eventually, but they take their time about it and it, they earn it. And um, that was very much on the page. When you're in an environment like that, it just leaps into the camera and you get these extraordinary shifts of light and weather and it's spectacular, truly spectacular. Um, and important that you get a sense, first of all, of the bleak loneliness of this, of this, of this environment so that you, you understand the mentality of this character, but also the, the sheer beauty that he's, he's escaped to a place uh, safe and almost zen-like within himself. Again, it's really hard to get stuff, I think, understated and real. And um, that's been the case on, in both the set and the costumes. You know, it's, it's never felt like we've suddenly leapt out of the world that we are working hard emotionally to sort of create. Um, and, and they always ground you as an actor, you know, what you're wearing and the environment you're in really helps to build up a sense of reality. Well, Reed was one of the primary reasons I, I took the job. I'd seen her work and uh, I was really excited when we met. She had a great vision and she had a great energy about her and uh, a, um, a great enthusiasm. And I liked her take on the script. I liked that she wanted to, and was excited by its roughness and rawness. They encourage and facilitate her, Reed's enthusiasm and uh, a vision. And yet I, look, I also look to producers and you know that you're in incredibly safe hands and that they've got you covered. And that also the product and the projects that they've provided in the past or produced in the past rather are, are um, you know, of, of incredibly high quality. So it's, a, it's the perfect mix and match really. There's an element of thrill to it. Will she, won't she, will she, won't she. I think there's a, got a great narrative of revenge and you wanting her to uh, 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 fulfill that sense of revenge, but equally you realize she's on a bigger journey, that she's cleaning herself up, that she's learning to respect herself, and I, th I suppose ultimately is, is she, is she going to find all the answers through uh, the revenge 
path or is she going to find the answers for herself? Hi, it's Lisa here with a bonus behind the scenes movie fact. Now, during the filming of The Usual Suspects, Benicia Del Toro's persistent farts made for an iconic moment. During the filming of the famous lineup scene, the laughter was completely genuine and unscripted and started when Del Toro farted like 12 times in a row as soon as they walked out. The director liked it so much, he ended up choosing that take over all the super serious ones. Do you like my shirt? You can get one in the link in the description.